never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in, except to convictions of honour and good sense. Never yield to force, never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. Winston Churchill, on Moments in Minutes. Winston Churchill delivered the speech that contained this quote to the Harrow School on October the 29th, 1941, and it followed one of the most pivotal moments in British history. Following the Nazi Germany invasion of Poland in September 1939, the British sent an expeditionary force to help defend its ally, France. After quickly subduing Poland, the Nazis also took the Netherlands and Belgium in quick succession and trapped the British expeditionary force along with the remnants of the Belgian army and three French armies along the northern coast of France. Completely overwhelmed, the British evacuated their forces from Dunkirk in May 1940. Following this humiliation, Adolf Hitler decided to launch an air attack on Britain prior to a planned invasion. While Britain's allies were all but destroyed and the Soviet Union remained neutral in the conflict. This was aimed at forcing a peace settlement from Britain. Facing overwhelming odds, Churchill could very well have been forgiven for surrendering to Germany. Instead, he rallied his country behind the efforts of the Royal Air Force and the RAF Fighter Command during the Battle of Britain which lasted from June 1940 until July 1941. The RAF denied Germany air superiority, which forced Hitler to postpone his invasion plans and caused the first defeat of the seemingly invincible Nazi forces. Churchill's Britain, along with the United States and the Soviet Union, eventually won World War II and forced Germany to surrender in May 1945. Just like Winston Churchill, we are faced with what we seem to believe are overwhelming odds and infinitely superior opponents in our own daily lives. We might not have had the experience of leading a country through a crisis of the magnitude of an international conflict, but we have faced and we do face situations that we believe are impossible for one reason or another. For example, a championship game against a much stronger team tests or exams that decide our career or future, that extremely attractive person that you want to date. In all of these scenarios, we have inner voices that say to us, it's too much for you, you can't handle this, they are way out of your league. But what is so important to remember is this, while you are here and still breathing, chances and opportunities are available to you. Does that mean you will always be a success when you are presented with these opportunities? Of course not. You will fail and you will get knocked down at some point in your life. However, the trick is not to give in. How long will it take you to get what you want? Who knows? It could take weeks, months or even years. But I promise you one thing. If you give up, you get nothing at all. By not giving up, I can promise you that one of two things will happen. One, you will eventually get what you want. Or two, you can open up new pathways and new opportunities. Two places and experiences that give you so much more than what you originally planned. For example, I have wanted to start a business for the longest time and I've been constantly looking for opportunities to do so. About two months ago, the company I work for decided to close its doors and I was faced with yet another mind-numbing round of job hunting. However, I saw an opportunity to start my first business, so I bought the company from the previous owners and I am now an entrepreneur. I never, never, never gave up. Winston Churchill could have given in too to the seemingly unstoppable force of Nazi Germany. Instead, he chose to fight, and he saved his country from tyranny. You too can save yourself from tyranny in your life 
by never, never, never giving in.